we have a co-worker at KTVB, Tom Zito, who uh, told me a few weeks ago, he said, you know, Bree, I'm, I'm sorry. If it doesn't snow all winter long, it's my fault because I bought the snowblower this year thinking we'd really need it, didn't have it during snowpocalypse. And so uh, because I'm prepared, I think we won't get snow. Well, Tom? We came through for you. So hopefully you got to break out that new snowblower today, the new sled, the new boots, the new bibs, all those things that you thought, mm, I hope I need these, but you just thought through all of the warm weather, there ain't no way. But winter isn't over until it's over, and right now we're in the thick of it. All across the country, you have to see some of these temperatures. We've been talking about that cold that has been so intrusive, so far south, and it's staying put. It's not going anywhere. It's been this way for about a week now. Oklahoma city with a high temperature of 18 degrees. 33 was the high in Dallas Fort Worth today. How far south that cold has gotten that is historic and it is crushing people in the south right now not just because of the cold because of the ice storms and because of the snow that's moving through those areas. Quiet in the midsection of the country now that will change because of what we saw through the last couple of days that's headed in their direction. Now for us all is quiet. Tomorrow is a quiet day for us but zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture and there is a lot more moisture out in the Pacific that's on tap for us. It's just a conveyor belt of plumes of moisture headed in our direction and it keeps our pattern very active throughout this entire week. So we get some quiet days but then we just use those quiet days to prepare for the next round of snow coming into play. So this is what we're looking at for Monday. National Weather Service says all right let's get on top of this one. Last one's over. Winter storm watch is posted out through southeastern Oregon up through Baker City and into the west central mountains likely to be upgraded to a winter storm warning. That's where we'll see our most significant snow on Monday, snow all day. Here in the Treasure Valley, expecting a changeover from snow in the morning to more of a slushy mix sometime midday into the afternoon as a cold front comes through. But forecast models are kind of indicating that there may be a good wallop of snow very early Monday morning, and that could set us up for a very tricky, slow Monday morning commute. I realize it's a three-day weekend. It is a holiday on Monday. If you're lucky enough to not have to worry about that commute, then good on you. But if it is something that's part of your Monday morning plans, plan ahead now. Looks like, generally speaking, one to three inches. I'd say there's even the potential that we get a localized four here in the Treasure Valley, closer to six, seven inches up through the West Central Mountains. Current temperatures are already below freezing, and we will be starting very cold tomorrow morning, so please keep in mind that it is going to be slick, slick, slick all through the overnight hours and through most of the day tomorrow as well, with our temperatures that really should stay in the low to mid 30s even for our highs tomorrow afternoon should get a little bit of sunshine tomorrow like we saw just before it went down today here's a look at the seven day forecast not just active on monday but it kicks back into gear thursday likely friday and saturday to share it's a forecast to stay on top of good advice brie thank you well, we've been sharing some of your weather photos that you've sent us all day long here on KTVB, and here's some more for you. And we want to see yours, of course. Just use the Near Me section of the KTVB app. It's in the lower right-hand corner. Hit share with us, fill out the boxes, and upload your content, and you might see it right here on TV.